All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear, and today we have uh, some good time to share with you. Actually, you know, I, uh, I don't have time to respond for kids, but uh, let, us make, let us make it a final spanking. I'm not going to respond to those kids anymore. Uh, first, the video is not meant for me, actually. Uh, one of you sent me this video, and uh, supposedly uh, Mr. Farid, may Allah bless him and uh, give him all the versions. Uh, and he's surprised actually, look at him. Uh, he have a lot of books behind him. And the books he have, they back up everything he say. And today is a great example. So he decided uh, to refute uh, David Wood. And uh, he's important, even David Wood, he asked him uh, to refute him. You know, David Wood, he asked you just to, somebody mentioned your name. And later he said, it's a joke, you know, I'm just a trap, so people will laugh at you. That's what he said. You can watch his video. Now let us see what Mr. Farid did in his video. And let us laugh together at this very nice comedy. And how Mr. Farid, may Allah bless him, uh, peace upon him, he helped us to spank his prophet with no mercy. I'd like to make another David Wood video so soon, but he called me out uh -huh. by name, requested that I make a video response to one of his videos. Hey. And you know me, I can't resist. You can't. You know me. I can't. Okay. Resist the challenge. Yeah, guys, ask him if he's taking requests, ask him to reply to my video um, Top five most disgusting facts about Muhammad. That one, right? Now, I have no idea who Fareed is. Um, <laughs> Uh, that, that, as far as I know, as far as I know, that was the only clip I've seen. Cut the BS, David. You know exactly who I am. What about all those late? Yeah, you know, you know who I am. You know, you are famous. You know, he is the guy whose Christian prince has spanked him many times. You know, he, he said, uh, if you remember the video of one of the funny moments of this guy, he said to the apostate prophet, the reason nobody noticed or historian record the splitting of the moon, because it appeared for a few seconds. What? <laughs> so we know who you are. Come on, no, David Wood, you know who is he? Got the PS. And what PS mean, by the way? Is that peace up on him? What does that mean? My calls by Redvan. You know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. Come on, come on. Who the hell is calling at this unholy hour? Hey, David. I'm so glad you picked up. Jesus Christ, do you have any idea? See, this is a Muslim making cartoon saying Jesus Christ, they are cursing Jesus. Supposedly, you know, this guy is an adult mature man and he want to make a point to respond to what this is about. So he is saying he is cursing Jesus to make a point against David Wood. Everyone knows that when you say Jesus Christ in the West, it's mean you are cursing. Actually, you are saying the bad word to Jesus. So what kind of a Muslim you are, in order to answer David, would you make such a cartoon unless you are a kid? And then in the top of that, you curse Jesus using a very filthy language to do what? Is that how Muslims try to convince Christians they are wrong? By saying a curse to Jesus? A filthy language used by atheists against Jesus? And don't tell me you do not know what Jesus Christ means when you say that sentence. Aren't you the one who make fun of my first, my, my second hand English or third, hand, th third grade English? Now continue and let us see how stupid you are. Idea what time it is? I know, I know. But let us go then, away from this uh, stupid uh, cartoon. You, David. This is your level. Cursing Jesus, what a filthy man. The number five most disgusting fact about Muhammad is Muhammad had sex with a prepubescent nine-year-old girl. Uh, no, he didn't. No. Aisha already had her puberty at the time. If, 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 she have what? Aisha, she have a puberty at that time. Reference, please. David might be confusing Muhammad, peace be upon him, with the Moses of the Bible. 
You see how he skip giving any ref if you are trying to refute him and you say no she reached her property so shouldn't you show a, a reference no he jumped to speak about the Bible we will spank you we will let you speak about the Bible and we will go back to what you said but keep alive for yourselves all the young girls who have not known a man intimately mm. now for Christians that are eager enough to learn about the meaning behind the verse. What do well, you don't teach us the meaning? What is the meaning? Be what do you mean the meaning behind the verse? Teach us, teach us. Refer to the description below for the textual analysis. For the huh? Christians that want to believe that the girls were kept alive to play Scrabble or Monopoly, then there isn't really much that I could do to help you. You stupid idiot. He took, they took them as slaves. Secondly, in the Bible it says, if you take a slave, and you want to sleep with her, she have to be your wife. And let me get you busted, you idiot. This is the Bible. And this is the books which you are talking about. And this is the prophet you mentioned his name. It says it clearly. And seats among captives a beautiful woman that has desire into her that should would, would have her to be wife with her what to be the wife and you don't even sleep with her right away even after you take her as a wife she shave her head and you give her time so she can recover from what happened to her and her tribe and her family she shave her hair so the man will not desire her and she is a free after she is a wife, she is a free. Now, if you are talking about taking the young ones as slaves, well, isn't it your prophet? He did this, brother. If we go and search, let us see. Oh, this is a different hadith we want. Hold on. <laughs> narrated that the prophet he attacked Bani al-Mustaliq and he took all their children and women as captives what he did he took all their children those are young ones or old ones so what the Muslims do with the children according to you six years old is not a child she have her property this is what you say the Aisha at the age of six she is she is a woman so here we go, you're a prophet attacking Bani al and taking all their women and their children as slaves. And here this is more a clear reference. He killed all the women, called all the men, and he took the women and the children as captives. And if the Christians knew what does that mean? I mean this guy he looked like he, you know he speak like a, like somebody like a girl she work in the bar. A girly girl. Continue, brother. What else? So this is the answer. Where is the answer? He asked you, he said, that Muhammad, he had sexual relationship with kids. Where is the answer? She have her property. I want reference, please. Now, I'm not really someone who um, points at the flaws of Christianity. Oh, please, please, please. Okay. You know what? Let me get you busted. Isn't it your prophet? He took, he put his hand on the Torah and he say, I swear by thee and the one who sent thee. And this is, is it thee? Is inside the book of thee? Hmm? Potato. So if this is a flea in thee and the one who sent thee, taking an oath in thee. Hmm? Let me show the hadith because I'm not like you who say things without proofs and reference. This is your prophet who speak like a girl like you. And he called me and he asked me to debate him. I refute him and I cannot resist it. A group of Jews came to the prophet and invite him to, uh, to discuss a topic which is about a person who committed adultery. Prophet Muhammad peace upon him, he said, bring me the Torah. They place a cushion for the messenger who sat on it and he said, bring the Torah. Who said that? Muhammad. And then it was brought and then he would draw the cushion from beneath him and he placed the Torah in, in it, on it. Does you see how much respect he's showing? This is the book of uh, Moses, the one take the young ones, brother. 
And he said, I believe in thee and the one who revealed thee. So you are a stupid, saying you're a prophet. He believed in thee, which is a fall of the Christianity, stupidity of a Christianity, bad of the Christianity. Yet you're a prophet. He says he believed in thee. How stupid you are. And don't tell me this hadith is a uh, brother is not accepted. People will laugh at you. I'm sure he will find a problem with it because it's embarrassing. Continue, please. Continue, please, please. And what's wrong with this Christian prince, his second grade language, third grade? There are others who do that. This isn't really my field. Right, it's not his field. Um, but when you make accusations against Islam and you find these things in the Holy Bible, mm. your book, David, mm. I feel compelled mm. to point it out. Well, what you point? Nothing. Where it says, go and have sex with the children, you're a liar. The number four hold. most disgusting fact. No, hold on. What is the answer? What is the answer? He said that Aisha, she reached the age of a puberty. I want the answer. Where do you get this? Where do you get this from? I challenge this coward to show us one single reference in Islamic books. Take my note. I challenge this potato and I call him potato and he is bank badly to show me one reference saying what no, he said. he didn't. Aisha already had her puberty at the time. David might be what is that? You are showing me a dictionary, you idiot? You are showing me a dictionary. What is this? This is Google? What is this? Let me get you busted. I am not David Wood. I'm a Christian prince. David Wood, he spanked you his own way. I spank you in my own way. If we go in the hadith, let us show a different one. You said the prophet. Oh boy. <laughs> she reached. That's it. This is the answer. She reached the age of a puberty. That's it. I mean, you can what you can do about it. Just if read, he said so. If read, he says so. Uh, that's mean it is so. Abdul, potato. This is a spank for the coming century. I hope because my 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 hand really is hurting. Read with me, potato. This is Sahih al Bukhari, Hadith number six one three zero. I used to play with the dolls in the presence of the Prophet. So she is mature. She have her puberty, but she is playing with the dolls, and my girlfriends also used to play with me when Allah messenger used to enter my my my, my place he used uh, uh, to hide themselves with the girls because they are you know they are little girls but the prophet would call them to join and play with me the wife he, he can come play with my wife come play play come play not come sit and talk have coffee conversation no come and play do you see it and they are playing with what Playing with the dolls. And then, and here are the scam of Fifi and his and, 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 and Mimi and Dudu, all those liars. Look what it says. And similar images are is forbidden, but it was allowed to Aisha at that time as she was little girl, not yet reached the age of a puberty. The book of Fathilberry, page number 143, volume number 13. It doesn't say that, CB. What a scam. So you want to refute the guy. Supposedly you are refuting him. You show a word in Google what it means. That she is, you know, like you, you, you get a, a word saying that uh, past the age of a puberty. But where is the reference that Aisha, she passed that age? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And now what you will say, a Christian prince lying in the translation, I challenge you, Christian prince, to show me the book of Fath al-Bari. I challenge you to find this quotation, brother. Let us continue with Fifi and his feminine conversation.
confusing Muhammad peace be upon him refer to the scripture there are others who do that this isn't really my field yeah not his field his field uh, is to get busted by Christian press you make accusations against Islam and you find these things in the Holy mm. Bible uh -huh. the book David mm. I feel compelled I feel compelled to too. point it out true the number four most disgusting fact about Muhammad Muhammad encouraged his followers to suck on each other's fingers. Mm. Islam is the only religion I'm aware of that promotes finger sucking. Sahih al Bukhari, 5456, narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet said, When you eat, do not wipe your hands till you have licked it or had it licked by somebody else. Uh, that's not a translation, that's an interpretation. They that is an interpretation. That's an interpretation. Guys, this is not a translation. This is the inter what is the interpretation? It says, do you, do you understand English? Guys, anyone see here anything in the text that says that this is interpretation? Read carefully, Abdul. And you are the one who is putting supposedly, I don't know if this is from the video David Wood or your video. It says the prophet said, and here there is little tiny marks in the top, which means this is a quotation, you liar. What interpretation? Narrated that Ibn Abbas said, that the prophet said, who is the one is talking? The prophet said, so the prophet interpretation, the prophet? The prophet was given interpretation for what the prophet said. <laughs> the prophet said, you idiot. I mean, do you even have a little intelligence or intellect or dignity? When you eat, who said that? The prophet. Don't wipe your hand till you have licked it or had it to be licked by someone else. When you are saying that this is interpretation, anyone see where it says this is interpretation? Interpretation, somebody will say then, well, and, and, and this is scholar, he said that this is what the prophet meant. But as you see, it says the prophet said. What a kid you are. You are not even adult. You are like Aisha, who did reach her age of puberty at the age of six, according to you, or nine. And we get you busted with that. Continue your defense. You know, I mean, look like Allah, seriously, he could not find one smart Abdul he can defend his prophet. If it does the right thing by quoting a proper translation right after, though. Hmm. Sahih Muslim 5294. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, the Messenger of Allah said, when one of you eats some food, let him not wipe his hand until he has licked it or had it licked. The confusion in this report is similar to um, the confusion that would occur if a groom invited what? folks to his party uh -huh. um, and said that men that are invited need to be dressed in black. <clears throat> um, your best friend, who happens to be the groom's brother, says, uh, my, my brother said dress in um, black or dark clothes. Now, due to the way he says it, you think that black or dark clothes were the words of the groom but in reality it was the brother you are a very stupid one of you it's not the guy next to the guy he said or it is your prophet said you liar i mean what's wrong with those people do you see anyone saying that someone said someone said or no it says the prophet said and the arabic is so clear Either akala, you see between two brackets, here we go. Even even the Muslims, they made it for you in a black to show you that this is the word of the Prophet. The rest is not. Which means you let somebody uh, uh, lick it for you. As simple as that. Who is the one who's talking in the whole sentence? Is your Prophet. And who is the one who made the translation in the in the in the in the left? It's your prophet. Followers. He said, so either he lick it or someone else lick it. Now you are claiming that 
someone told someone and someone told someone and then after someone he says the prophet said lick it or someone lick it it doesn't say that you are a liar show us where it says that someone else said that he is confused maybe the prophet he said lick it or let, um, let someone lick it I mean do you see how they try to defend by by it's, it's a stupid even the idea is stupid because this is your Islamic website and the translation all of it is done by Muslims not a single translation is done by us this is Sahih Muslim let us see what it says read carefully when any of you eat food he shall not wipe his hand until he has it has licked it himself or has given it to someone else lick it who is the one saying the whole sentence muhammad not the groom a brother i mean you are g really 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 a child so how many hours you spend to come with this answer anyone have little dignity but not you he can see clearly that this is the prophet words and this is sahih not someone else saying or he can give it to someone else it is your prophet full sentence and here we go it is in arabic in the front of us in black either he lick it himself or let someone else lick it who is the one who said the ow it's your prophet the prophet of the virgins who they are not virgin anymore i feel for you and uh, i cannot resist the invitation of david wood i mean look at his eyes he looks smart by the way actually smart is not enough i think this guy is a genius and his prophet is so proud about his answers that said that and due to this mm -hmm. you assume it's optional black or dark clothes ah. and due to this you go to the wedding dressed up in a dark brown suit and you happen to stand out mm. and this hadith falls under the same issue oh. now in this hadith something similar happens where the narrator reports on his confusion and Ah, the narrator, they are confused. I never thought about this before. The narrator, he is confused. It, see, he is saying now to the narrator, the companion of the prophet, he's saying to them, it doesn't say that companion. Not only did they say, don't say CP, not only CP, they said to him, it doesn't say that CP. Now he is saying, to the companion of the prophet it doesn't say that companion hello are you stupid or what the companion is stupid confused you idiot he can be confused if he is explaining if he is doing explanation but you just said he is a narr narrating narrating what the prophet said not what someone said oh boy Continue, please. Please, not please. David has understood it to mean that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said both things. Now, this is a more accurate translation. According to David, had it licked means had it licked by someone else. However, this is an incorrect interpretation. Oof. The hadith actually says, let him not wipe his hand until he has licked it, or let him not wipe his hand until he had it licked In you are a big fat liar and a scam you mean he let someone else do it for him and let me show you everybody that you are a scam because if we read all the interpretation and all the translation we will not find a single one agree with you do, do, guys do you understand me if this guy is saying the truth had it licked he said either it's he he's saying lick it himself or had it licked okay had it licked by who he's saying maybe uh, he lick it had it licked no 
he said already he licked it himself. So why he want to say, so he said that licked it himself and licked it himself? That's stupid. All the Muslim translation, as you see, this is Muslim translation. This is the Muslim website. This is their words. How come not a single one of them he come with your understanding, genius Fifi? I will tell you why. Because you are a fraud. This is the hadith, and this is your translation. And look, even the Muslims, they put between two brackets for you by someone else. Do you like the someone else? Look, 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 look. They are not only helping me to get you busted, they are spanking you. How come all those Muslims, they get it wrong? Only Fifi, brother, he got it right. They're the person in numerical sequence. And the brother, there is only a person he can review him. His name is Brother Fifi. And Brother Fifi, he have his own interpretation for the Hadith and the Quran. And nobody can find the same interpretation. So why the Muslim don't agree with you? Why not a single Muslim agree with you? Why all the translation made by Muslims is wrong? Why they are using the word someone else to lick it? Do you see how many times they are repeating somebody else? Look, someone else to lick it. Here, somebody else to lick it. May Allah lick you. Look at this hadith here, brother. Make it more clear for you, brother. Is the spank is hard today? It's very hard. I think my five fingers is showing there. You know where. Ibn Abbas RAA, this is like an organization, like the KKK. No CP, RAA, it is not the KKK. <laughs> Narrated that the Messenger of Allah, P B U H of M O O S A W shortwave said, when one he eat of you eat, he must not wipe his hand till he lick it or give it to someone else to lick it, such as wife husband agreed upon agreed what they agreed about what they agreed that fifi is a fraud the muslim agreed upon that everything fifi is saying is a fraud they agreed upon that it is someone else licking your fingers uh, guys i have my fingers i just ate uh, who want to lick my fingers <laughs> Okay, please don't mention the name of this kid again to me. And don't forget to download the video and share it again with everybody, please. Let everybody laugh. It's a comedy. Let us continue with Farid. He, he, by the way, Farid means unique. I have to admit, he is unique. Farid is unique. I mean, you can look at this. His answers, nobody agree with it except him. And for sure, the text in the Muslims. But the scholars, they agreed upon that he is a liar. In other words, the narrator of the hadith wasn't certain. Ah. It was most likely Ata, who uh. wasn't sure if the report says... He was not sure. He said, or... Ata, he said, or, you liar. The hadith says, your prophet says that. He didn't say, Ata says, or... I mean, you, what a scum say. Well, Ata, he said, or maybe had it licked by someone else. It doesn't say that, CP. It says, the prophet said, this is all of it between two brackets. Are you blind? Are you? Eh, no, no, you are not blind. You are stupid. You see, between two brackets, little tiny bracket. When you, the prophet said, so from here to here, the prophet is talking, not at all. Let us continue with the second one. We are done with this one. I feel sorry for him. This guy, now today he will see the video, he will have a heart attack. Yul Iqaha, or it just goes because go. we have reports of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his companions licking their own fingers. Ah, their own fingers, the right? Them licking the fingers of one another. You see, the companion they are saying, lick someone, uh, lick, lick your own finger, but we just showed you. It says agreed upon. All the scholars agreed upon that someone else lick your fingers, you liar scam. 
And you know what? This is my challenge for you. What about you show us as we showed you? You see, I'm showing you. This is your Muslim website. This is your hadith. This is your translation. Agreed upon that someone else licking your finger. Show us that this isn't wrong. It doesn't say that, CP. You see, you are just making... You are, you, this is what they do. They are, they are making their own false explanation to get away from the disgusting, stupid teaching of their prophet. It says in the front of us, agreed upon by who? By the scholars. Who is the one is important to agree upon something here when they say agreed upon? When the Muslim they say agreed upon, that means the scholars agree that this is what it's meant. What a coward. And this is supposedly your answer? What a horrible answer. And look at this question mark. And thus, David's conclusion was incorrect. You know, my friend, it's you who is not only incorrect, you are a fraud, and we prove it. Now continue, number, number what? The number three most disgusting fact about Muhammad, Muhammad swapped spit with little boys. In Bukhari's Al Adab al Mufrid, 1183, we read Hassan came running and jumped into his lap. Then he put his hand in his beard. Then the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, opened his mouth and put his tongue in his mouth. There are three issues with David using this report. Hmm. Firstly, the hadith comes through the path of Hisham bin Sa'ad. Here we go. Here we go. The hadith comes through those guys, and those guys are a bunch of liars like maybe Hijab. You see, nobody accused Muslim to be liars except Muslims. You see, the Muslims, just in order, not only they say Christian prince is lying, they say Muslims are liars too. Just for the sake of defending Muhammad. This is the whole story now. We, will, we show them the story, we show them the hadith. But this is the problem with this hadith. That this hadith coming from this guy and this guy and this guy and the Sa'i called him weak. <laughs> Let us go to the second one. This one is not important. Uh, brother, you are very convincing, brother. And now look, he booked for you, narrating, etc. And suppose he's convincing, but there's no proof. There's no proof that this is a weak hadith. Did you show us it says weak hadith? No. If it's weak, why the Muslim don't say it's weak? How come only you says it is weak? You, 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 wiki, 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 wikipedia. Christian Prince, he say wakabidia, not wikipedia. Let us go to the second one. Being charitable. Being as charitable as possible, because I'm a charitable kind of guy. But wait, David has some more. According to another hadith, Musnad Ahmed, 16,245, Muhammad would suck on the tongues and lips of little boys. Multiple issues in this one, too. Here we go. Uh, there's, see, all the stories written about Muhammad by Muhammadan is a lie. This is what he is saying to us. We Muslims are a bunch of liars. You cannot say, you cannot take what the Prophet said from us. You take it from the Jews, maybe. Because we Muslims, we lie. Multiple issue problem with this hadith, brother. And who is the one who found the multiple issue? Fifi. Let us continue to the other one. Because this, there's nothing to say. I mean, he just said, he claimed that this multiple issues. That's it. It's a multiple issues. There is a problem. Hassan ibn Ali is a liar. His, his neighbor is a liar. His cousin is a neighbor. You know, and the funny, when we showed him yesterday, we made a video. And he made a translation saying that Hafs, According to Al-Bukhari, Taraku, huh? they left him, they rejected him. He admit that Hafs is a liar. But he was defending that Hafs is not a liar. But he admitted that Al-Bukhari said that. Ahmad, Imam Ahmad said that. Let us move to the other one. What is the other one? Lips. And perhaps, and most importantly, David claims. But fear not, he also guaranteed that if he sucked on a boy's tongue or lips, that boy's tongue or lips would never be tormented by hellfire. And no, the Prophet, peace be upon him, didn't say this. Rather, it was the opinion of Muawiyah. If, 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 that is the opinion. Uh... Of Muawiyah, 
where it says that and why Muawiyah is saying that and can you show us that one Muslim scholar didn't agree with Muawiyah <laughs> oh maybe you are the only one who didn't agree with him it is other scholars don't agree with Muawiyah beside your majesty I mean stupidity is amazing so this is uh, this is an answer show him that okay we Muslim will reject this this is Muamiya opinion can you show us that you cannot because you are making things up Let us show some stuff. <clears throat> to this Abdul. Uh, but you know what? I mean, I mean, why am I wasting my time with this? This is not really important. You know, he, Muhammad, he sucked the tongues, Muhammad, etc. You know. Uh, there's a hadith about Muhammad speaking about a guy his name is Osama like Osama bin Laden he says he you know he licked the face of Osama and he wished Osama was a girl he said if Osama was a girl I will dress him I mean why you want him why you want why you are licking the face of a person his name is Osama and you wish he is a girl And then he's saying, if Osama was a girl, I will dress her. But actually, there is a hadith more important than this. Oh, you know what? We will mention it later in the coming story. Hold on. If Muawiyah indeed said such a thing. David, why do you keep saying boys in plural when it's clearly one boy? Um, why Guys, he sucked only one boy tongue, not boys. I mean, we have to be honest here. CP, it doesn't say every day he have intercourse, CP. It's only, it's, it is a day. <laughs> why do you keep saying boys? Like, why do you keep saying boys? He sucked only the tongue of one boy. Like, are you, what's wrong with this David Wood? Brother? Why don't you mention that this is a grandson of a prophet, peace be upon him? First of all, if you have a grandson that give you a license to suck his tongue, look at this face. Are you sucking now? So what if he's your grandson? Ah, that give you access so nobody can think about you being bad. Is that what you are trying to say? But we knew that there's people, they have you know they do bad things to their own family in the top of that your prophet have no children Muhammad he cannot have a children's and there is a verse in the Quran chapter in the Quran about a man accusing that he's cut off and this is why Muhammad he was elaborating about his sexual power because he's trying to cover something he feel is if he feel is missing in his life that he get the power of 40 men Look at these things. Why do you have to make everything seem to be sexual? Uh, you know, what if someone did this to the Bible? You think that they wouldn't be able to... Okay, you give us why you are putting your tongue in the mouth of a child and you are sucking his tongue. This is not sexual. Give us the reason. We want another reason. I mean, is that normal that you, you put your tongue in the mouth of a child and you suck his tongue? I mean, guys, do you see the the, 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 the the stupidity? Okay, what is the what is the reason why he is putting his tongue there? It's not sexual, brother. Is he doing the 
breastfeeding is that of breastfeeding your prophet he have milk in his tongue if it's not sexual it's what you put your tongue I want you if you have kids maybe you have I want you to make a video and show us how your prophet used to put his tongue and this is your son do you dare to do that people they will eat you alive the police will arrest you to turn um, stories in the Bible to something sexual like for example this these verses about prophet Elisha hmm. um, I mean just check this out couldn't someone interpret this to be something sexual and shout out to Brother <laughs> Zucker, Zucker, for this little gem. You remember Zucker, don't you, David? Yeah, we remember him. Number two, most <laughs> disgusting fact about Muhammad. Muhammad would have sex with nine women and girls, but only take one bath. Sahih al-Bukhari, 5215. Narrated Anas bin Malik, the prophet used to pass by, have sexual relation with, all his wives in one night, and at that time he had nine wives. So we're clear on the sex with nine women and girls part, but check out the chapter heading of this hadith. Whoever had sexual intercourse with all his wives and then took one bath only. There are two ways of looking at this particular There's two narration. Ways. Two ways. The first is that this is actually a mistake from one of the narrators of the hadith. This is a hadith by Enes. Hold on. Farid is correcting the narrator. Did you take a note? For he not only correct Christian Prince, not only he correct David Wood, he correct the companions of the Prophet. Actually, he did already in the in the in the previous topic. Remember, the guy he said the companion of the Prophet is confused about or lick it or lick it himself. He is correcting the companion, and now he's doing it again. Farid, he correct everybody. It's not only David Wood is confused and wrong, and Christian Prince is lying. The narrator is lying too. Say, say again what you said, brother. What you said? Narration. The first is that this is actually a mistake from one of the narrators of the hadith. It's a mistake. You what a mis mis mistake or misgiving? Guys, it's a mistake. Okay. I want to say, you know what, you are a genius. If it is a mistake, why here they are saying it is Sahih? Sahih mistake? Is that a Sahih mistake? Why in the bottom of the hadith it says Hassan Sahih, which means good and authentic? But you just said it's a mistake. Hmm. So you Muslim, you say it is authentic for something is not authentic because this is a mistake. If a mistake, it cannot be true then. If he is quoting something wrongly, it's a mistake. That means it is not authentic. So now, the, the, you know, the, the Muhammadan, in order to defend the Muhammad, they extend it doesn't say that cp to doesn't say that david doesn't say that companion doesn't say that aisha all the all those people they are liars and fifi is the one who is going to correct all of us tell us more hilarious this is a hadith by ns while the report by aisha states that the prophet peace be upon him used to pass by his wives without intercourse oof, 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 oof. he passed by his wives without intercourse this is what aisha she said you idiot aren't you the one who made a video just a few days ago to correct me and you said the following A major translation error in this paragraph comes in the form of he used to do intercourse for all his women every day. The Arabic doesn't say that. It says This doesn't say every day. It says in a day. <laughs> it's not every day. It's in a day. So how come there it was it intercourse? Now it's not intercourse. 
This idiot Farid, he forgot what he said in the previous video to David. And this is a video he made afresh for supposedly for me. But this idiot he just said, it is intercourse, but not every day, a day, in a day. Did you hear it? Intercourse for all his women every day. The Arabic doesn't say that. It says, This doesn't say every day. It says, in a day. In a, in a day, you idiot. There's a huge difference between every day and in, in a day. But now he agreed that it says in Arabic that he do intercourse in Arabic every not every day in a day. How come then you did not say this is the this is the, the word Yatuf does not make intercourse? What a fraud! And then he challenged me, by the way, to show him the quotation from Fathul Bari, and I show it. And he just gave he the translation. He gave us the correct translation that it is intercourse. His, his, he was opposing only that I said every day. He did not oppose Christian Prince saying intercourse. He opposed only one thing. It's not every day. It's in a day. Intercourse was not a problem for him. Now it's a problem because he's trying to refute a different person and he come with his own propaganda agenda. Now, you know what? I will do the same again. Why you Muslims always get it wrong except Fifi? You see, Fifi, he don't agree. He, he used to go around to visit his wives. He's not having intercourse. So why you Muslims don't understand the correct meaning as Fifi? What's wrong with you? What the problem here, brother? All Muslims have a very different understanding than the Burhad al-Farid. Only the YouTubers have different understanding. But the but the scholars, the translators, the websites, the Muslim website, all of them they say intercourse. Do you see anyone saying no? Why they are using the word intercourse? He will say he to you, he says he visit his wife. So he says here visit wife. So why you are adding intercourse? Because simply Yatufu Alanisai is about doing boom boom. And this is your Muslims explaining what it's mean. And this is why he is taking a bath. What the bath? If you visit women, why you want to take a bath? What, what, what is this about? What exactly? I mean, what happened? Why after? Why you are saying after you go and your wives? Sorry. Sahih Muslim. The message of Allah, he used to have sexual intercourse with his wives with single bath. So why the Muslims are adding things is not there. But Farid is the only one who he notice that Muslims they lie about their prophet because this is sunnah.com website and this is the Muslim translation and they are keep saying that this is about sexual intercourse and this is why he is taking a bath I do not need to take a bath if I'm just visiting my wife the mention of the bath because he was having sex with them now, let us go back to uh, Brother Farid, uh, uh, and he will explain to us more with more details, Brother. Meaning that he would visit them all in one night. Hmm. Shout out to Abu Musa from Muslim Allegations Hunter. You know, it's like, uh, you know, a shout out to this and shout out to that. <laughs> referring to a full body bath. What, what, what? Not per what, what, what? The prophet, he was having sex and he did follow body bath, brother, bath. He did. Hey, hold on, let me, let me. I want to see what he starts saying. Okay, hold on.
allegations hunters for this, by the way. For this, yeah, brother. But let's assume that the narration of NS was correct and that the Prophet, peace be upon him, did indeed have intercourse with multiple women mm. while only bathing once. Ghusl is referring to a full body bath. Eesh, Not eesh. performing ghusl doesn't mean that the Prophet, peace be upon him, didn't cleanse himself. Eesh. Yes, the chapter says ghusl. However, ghusl or bathing doesn't mean, doesn't negate that someone or the Prophet, peace be upon him, was cleansing himself partially. So basically washing your genitals or washing your armpits wouldn't count as ghusl. There is a difference. So if... Okay, let me get you busted and this will be my goodbye for you. You are a fraud and you've been spanked for the coming century. This is the hadith in front of us explaining to us what ghusl you scam and you are a fraud. This is what ghusl. Read carefully everybody. He said ghusl is not considered full bath. Sorry, ghusl is a full bath. Full bath. This is what he said. If you do just wash your private part, is not considered ghusl. But read. The Prophet said. The Prophet, sorry, the Prophet performed. Who is the one who's talking? Maimuna, the wife of the Prophet. This is the first hand witness. This is the woman she sleep with the man. That when the Prophet he finished Janaba, which means after having intercourse, he washed his private part and rubbed his hand on the ground or the wall this is the ghusl the liar he said that ghusl is a full bath not touching and uh, uh, cleaning your private part listen carefully again to what fifi said please 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 i mean you are priceless man you should grow like you in the in the in my yard but they don't allow me city they don't allow me no chicken allowed Look at his mouth. Tell us more. Tell us more. What is Ghusl? What is Ghusl? Was cleansing himself partially. Oh, so that. basically, that says Ghusl. However, Ghusl or bathing doesn't mean, doesn't negate that someone or the Prophet, peace be upon him, was cleansing himself partially. So basically, washing your genitals or washing your armpits wouldn't count as Ghusl. There is a difference. So Wouldn't count as a Ghusl. There's a difference. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Now look what the hadith says. That this is what ghusl is. Just washing your private part. Not taking a shower. Do you see it? And after he do the ghusl, he do wudu. What is wudu? You don't even take a shower too. Put some uh, water in your nose. Wipe in your hand. You don't even wash. Wipe in your feet. But the liar, he said, if you wash your private part, this is not ghusl. But the hadith in front of us, which is sahih as you see, so he cannot say it is a, a weak uh, CP. It doesn't say that CP. Where it says that CP? Where you get this from CP? You want to teach us what ghusl now? CP, you are a Christian. You are not a Muslim. How do you know what ghusl mean? So the liar, he said, that when you do ghusl, does not mean you just wash your private part. It's a full bath. Uh, you know what? I, I want to refresh the memory of people. Maybe they did not get it yet. But the wife, she's saying what ghusl is. He performed ghusl from Janaba. What is that? She said, he washed his private part and he wrapped his hand on the ground in the what? The prophet he have a big saw drawing in his wall. He clean his hands. He dry his hand by wiping his fingers in the wall. So if we go in the house bedroom of the prophet, we will find all the mark of his sperms in the wall. Like because now he's washing his hand, brother. Do you see it? He dry his hand with the ground? I mean, what kind of a savage a human being? This is how you wash? So, the lie here he said that ghusl does not, ghusl mean full bath. When the fact ghusl does not mean full bath. 
Russell is just washing your private part and rubbing your hands, which means this is the only wet part he have in his in his body. His hand and his private part. Because he's drying only his hands, he's not drying his legs, his ass, his back, his hair. He is just rubbing his hands. So what is wet? Is his hand. <sighs> I feel sorry for you, uh, Fifi. Seriously. I think you need to see a doctor, take medic medic medication. Take it easy, my friend. I mean, seriously, take it easy. Is that enough, guys? Shall I continue or enough for today? I know what to say. If someone was to wash every single inch of his body, except for his hair, that wouldn't count as ghusl. Okay, good. So guys, as you see, he just admitted that he is a stupid, he's a liar, and we got him busted. I'm not going to continue because it's not really, it's not, it's not worth it. This, this guy is, is a kid, he's a potato. I, I challenge him actually to post my video as it is in his channel. If he did not lie, and the funny, they accuse us of lying. So look what he did in this video. He accused the companions to be wrong of Muhammad. He accused the narrator, which are either the companion or from the followers of the companion. They call them tabi'in. They, 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 they misquote. They are confused. He is correcting not only Christian Prince and David, but he is correcting the companions. He is correcting Ibn Abbas. He is correcting everybody. Or just to defend, and as you see, we got him busted with the proofs. Aisha, she was not in the age of a puberty. And we got that approved from their own websites, from their own hadith, from their own scholars. No dignity whatsoever. All those hadith. Proving to us, I'm going to pause this hadith for you because the Muslims always they lie about this, this issue. They say that Aisha she was in the age of a puberty. So please save it so later you don't ask me for it. I do not need really to continue. I mean, that's it. This guy is a, just a kid. Uh, oh, hold on. You know, the, 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 those people are a bunch of a fraud. Do you remember when this guy, he went with Muhammad Hijab? And they were playing my voice, speaking to a Muslim woman. And Muhammad Hijab, he opened his mouth. And Mr. Fifi, he was biting his fingers. For sure he will bite his fingers because I was reading about suckle me. So he want to suckle too. Dignity. It's mean you don't... Look at the face of, the, of Muhammad Hijab. When the fact the video is totally different. And as usual, when they go live on air, a brother and sister, don't forget to buy this. And we have other things as well. Nature's blend black seed oil in box. That is nature's blend black seed oil, and they have other things as well. Yeah, that will make you smart, right? So look at that those scumbag, the, the fraud. They cut my video about their sister, who is obviously she is like Aisha. She was the filthy woman. I was reading for her what is written in their books. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you Muslims, no, kiss, you, you Muslims kiss his stones, right? Why Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kissed the stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Go to boobs? The you must be, okay. You see, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys. See, this is their women. They are talking to, uh, saying that the Christian prince is saying to her, suckle me. 
Christian Prince saying, take off your panty. Christian, I was showing her what your prophet said. She is the filthy woman who starts saying such a thing about Jesus. And you Muslim, you claim that you have dignity and you believe that Jesus is a prophet. So if you are really truthful, you will not make such a fraud editing my video lying about what happened there that the women she was filthy this is your sister obviously you muslims you don't respect jesus there's no way that you muslim believe that jesus is a prophet and you will say that jesus was a guy playing with his mother boobs and yet the muslims like fifi and mimi they make a video quoting this women they take they, they cut off the video because they are they have no you know what i challenged fifi and mimi both of them to post the whole video of my conversation with this woman in their channel but the coward because they are coward they are fraud they cut the videos and then they open their mouth when they are listening do you see what christian prince brother he said why you don't play that your sister she was saying that jesus suckled the boobs of his mother sorry he, he played with the boobs of his mother and he was a guy actually jesus he did more he did more what i was asking her about kissing black stone i wasn't asking her about breast she is the one who opened the breast thing. Right? Why why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother poops. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Poops? You must be okay. You see, you see guys, he's you see guys, you see guys, you see how you see how selfish they are? They are a fraud, like they're a prophet. So they quote it from the video, what make it look like Christian Prince, he's asking a Muslim woman to suckle him. Take off your panty. <laughs> what a coward. And thank God I asked people to download my videos so people, they laugh. And by the way, they say that Christian Prince, he said, Muslim women have AIDS. It was actually the Muslim who said, that you know what christian prince you wish to marry from muslim women right that's why you are not married you know because christian women have aids i said with the fact that muslim women they are exposed to aids more than anyone because they have multiple partners how they have multiple partner the man he have four wives and he keep it changing exit changing he go to thailand for vacation he don't go to visit the beach all of us we know what muslim they do when they go there especially if some saudi arabia kuwait etc and they go back, they have AIDS with them. Yet they are saying that the Christian women have AIDS. And yet they quoted the video, cut it, and make it look like I am saying Muslim women have AIDS. Fraud like your prophet. I was responding to your false accusation that the Christian women have AIDS. In fact, I can show you right now that the prophet wives have AIDS. Muhammad, he never had sexual life with a woman. She is not infected sexually. How we can prove that? Here we go. Muhammad described that the women sexual fluid in her private part is always yellow. That is a sexual infection. It can be AIDS. It can be whatever STD it is. Because why women she will have a sexual, inf uh, why she will have a, a yellow. For me, by the way, I do not know about this topic. And then somebody told me who understand uh, about medicine or maybe the doctor that this is not, not right. A woman, she should not have yellow, thin water in her private part during intercourse. It is not yellow unless she have infection. And this is Muhammad describing what? Describing women he slept with, and he noticed that all of them, they have yellow water, which means not a single woman of them, she was not infected with STD. And here, don't forget to remember that Muhammad claiming to be a doctor and claiming that if the one have orgasm first, the baby will resemble the father, which is another proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Because since, then, since when, if you have orgasm first, the baby will look like you, will be male or female, or will look like you. What does this have to do with the look? Which is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud like them. 
please download the video and this is how we always get them busted thank you for listening i wasn't planning actually to make the video longer but the video is a little bit long so i wanted to cover some issues i'm not going to cover the rest i mean it's just a kid and this video will be enough for the coming century for this guy to disappear he about how many lies he did and we got him busted from his own words thank you guys may the lord bless you and i will see you again tonight in the in the uh, uh, quality of life account if you did not subscribe there please join us in the quality of life m27 you see it in the screen this is account where we do uh, uh, speak about different topic additional to uh, we don't talk about islam in that uh, account uh, we talk about Islam in the Arabian Prophet account, but this one for talking about anything else have nothing to do. Something clean, you know. We talk about something clean, nothing with the dirt and the and the garbage of this God. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, and Islam is false, and we prove that every day. And the Muslims are our best helpers. Take care. God bless. Don't forget to download the video and share it everywhere.